Christine, thank you. Now to the Trump presidency. President Donald Trump is back in Washington, D.C. this morning after his trip to the United Nations General Assembly. He returns to deal with an impeachment inquiry by House Democrats. The president is scrambling to find who provided information to a whistleblower about his phone call and even comparing that person to a spy. And as House leaders move forward with their impeachment inquiry, a new poll finds Americans are nearly split on the impeachment of the president. CBS4's Mark Liverman reports. President Trump says he's at war following the release of a whistleblower complaint detailing his phone call with Ukraine's president. Who's the person who gave the whistleblower the information? In a video of a closed door gathering of U.S. diplomats obtained by Bloomberg News, the president suggested it could be treason. You know what we used to do in the old days when we were smart, right? With spies and treason, right? We used to handle it a little differently than we do now. In a nine-page complaint released yesterday, the whistleblower says senior White House officials worked to lock down all records of a presidential phone call this summer out of fear that they had witnessed the president abuse his office for personal gain. Acting Director of National Intelligence Joseph McGuire told lawmakers he has no reason to doubt the whistleblower. You don't have any reason to accuse them of disloyalty to our country or suggest they're beholden to some other country? Absolutely not. I think the whistleblower did the right thing. I think he followed the law every step of the way. Republicans point out that the whistleblower was not a direct witness to most of the events described. The whistleblower tells us the officials that I spoke with told me and White House officials told me that, in other words, all of this is secondhand information. But House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says it provides a roadmap for an impeachment investigation. There are some in our caucus who think, let's just have an impeachment. No, we have to have an inquiry to further establish the facts. President Trump maintains he did not pressure Ukraine to investigate his political rival, Joe Biden. Mark Liverman, CBS News. And three House Democratic committee chairs say President Trump's comments about the whistleblower are, quote, cons constitutional reprehensible witness intimidation and an attempt to obstruct Congress's impeachment inquiry.